Howdy, y'all. I'm Mrs. Snarky, and uh, I'm here with some awesome panelists. Tell us what you're about, Maddie. I'm about forgetting what time it is, <laughs> not starting the show. <laughs> so I, uh, like I was telling the people beforehand, I got this little handheld gamey thingy. It's got like 100 games on it, and I was playing Mario and didn't realize it was showtime. Yeah, forgot we so, were doing show just yeah. totally forgot i'm maddie of the objectively subjective channel which you're watching it on right now unless this is thursday <laughs> and then you're not watching it on my channel right now you're watching it then on snarky's channel at least you remembered that it's thursday <laughs> these are That's... these are the technical aspects that you need to understand so if you're watching it on snarky's channel and you're like who the fuck is that <laughs> come to my channel and subscribe because that's what's important or if you're watching this on Objectively Subjective's channel, come over to Mrs. Snarky and subscribe and hit the bell. Yeah, do that stuff because I haven't done shit this week and forgot to put the links in. Oh. Because I'm a horrible person. God, Maddie. I, I'm too the much worst Mario. person in the world. Uh, as, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to like announce something. Uh, I need a new producer. Like... Uh, <laughs> saturdays is usually when we air i mean yeah hit me up anyway next up we have hashtag heathen i could totally Hi. play more mario if you had a new producer <laughs> you could totally <laughs> let casey announce her channel and talk about her stuff okay like go yourself. ahead casey okay now yes okay <laughs> right I, now i'm just I'm saying i really heathen. would have oh. way more time to play mario Okay, I would Casey. mute you. I would mute you if I could. <laughs> I would. You would be so muted right now. Hi, I'm Hashtag Heathen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Hashtag Heathen. Casey, she is awesome. We are actually doing a show together. Yes. And it's, it's also amazing. So we're going over a book and it's awesome. So go subscribe, check it out, see what that's about. Okay. Next up we have Faith of Southern. Hey, that's me. Uh, I, you can usually catch me here or here on Thursdays again and on our last nerve on Fridays. And I also have a YouTube channel, but don't bother subscribing. Subscribe. And he, he's, he's got a great video. And you'll be seeing more of him soon because of our collab. That's I'm not ready to launch that channel. Oh, oh, you're talking. Oh, yeah. Our collab. Not the, yes, not the Pornhub channel. Not, not the Pornhub channel. No. <laughs> ah, Faith of Southern and I, we're, we're going to try and take the bread pill. We're, we're becoming Ancoms. Yes. I'm predicting it now. We're reading Conquest of Bread. My condolences. It's going to be super informative, I'm sure. Totes. I'm ready. Are you sure? Or do I'm you bad. want to just play Mario some more? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, my... I have learned that if I want to play video games after the revolution, all I have to do is build my own video game factory. Oh, God. And get to make the games that I want. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's right. You got to seize it. That's right. All right. I so... seized. <sighs> Y'all y'all okay next up we have red venture hey how's it going um my channel's red venture i do uh, typically response videos um branching out a little more um coming up uh hopefully have a video up and out tonight the last little finishing touches on it um and then uh, yeah another video next week and then uh, the twitch channel starts up next saturday Woohoo! so Hip hip hooray! Yeah, and I will, as a good host, uh, link all the descriptions and the uh, are all the channels and the Twitter tags in the description, so that everybody could be found. So anyway, and we're I'll here do that at some point. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, anyway, we're here to let you know what's happening. And what's happening right now is this cat is fucking adorable, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And. Yes. I had to show it on a loop to drive everyone crazy. But it's yeah. not driving me crazy yet. It has definitely drove me crazy. 
<laughs> oh, my plan has gone out so well. It was All a right. short drive. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurt my feelings, comrade. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Why don't you build you a feeling factory and get some more? Feeling Our feelings. feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right y'all so you ready to get into the awful stuff yeah uh, let's, let's just go ahead and jump right into this awful shit so i ran across this guardian uh article talking about the church of england and apparently uh sex is for married heterosexual couples only they say which is fucked up right this is bigotry but anyways uh, the pastoral guidance also calls for Christians and gay or straight civil unions to be abstinent. So you can be in a relationship with someone, but you can't you can't do the horizontal polka. So Apparently not as if that's any of the fucking church's business. But yeah, that's that's what they're going for here. Uh, and the reasoning they get behind it is they say, quote, it falls short of God's purpose for human beings. Now, how they know this purpose that God supposedly has is anyone's fucking guess. But uh, yeah, the, <sighs> the UK is a secular country. And I don't think I don't think it works out very well to tell people how they can choose to live. But I mean, you don't have to be in the Church of England. You could just empty the pews. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Uh, it makes sadly. no sense because, like, most of the Church of like the Church of England is like a tra It's more of a tradition thing. Like, they're not really all that like religious. Yeah, they're not what I consider to be like fundamentalist Christians yeah. or even evangelical. Seems like pushing it maybe but well, I leviticus mean, is leviticus so well oh. this sounds like everybody's favorite uh, anglican uh, uh trad guy on twitter got a hold of it yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, who who are we talking um, about now uh andrew uh Stratelites. oh, wow. oh. <laughs> oh that that's the only way it makes sense. sense is that you know it always seems like the anglican church has been pretty uh um kind of whatever about stuff huh i see it come out now this stuff you know i could have swore that, that i was fa i falsely believed that uh he was catholic uh no so, yeah, he's an anglican but he's a bootlicker for the catholic oh i see well thanks for clearing that up um, yeah. and that's important yeah. yeah it's totally important see god could have cleared all this up like if like let's just say, let's grant let's say there is a god why did he make the butthole able to take in a penis or How the mouth he, yeah that's well i don't know why he why did put he that, stick the yeah why did he the stick the pleasure button yeah why did he stick the pleasure parts up the butt god yeah. you should have known better than right to up. put the happy button in the ass like Come on. Anyways. Well, I'm I'm just saying, like, people who engineer products on Earth don't just make their products where they'll line up with anything. Like, if you take a if you if you take a fucking Apple product plug and try to shove it into your Android, it's not going to work. But, <laughs> but God, this this is a perfect analogy. All knowing God was like, I'm going to make these things this way. What are they doing? No, yeah. it doesn't go there. Let's your butt, leave it. your like, butt is a USB confirmed. Like, right? the, <laughs> like the butt could have It been, shouldn't be a lightning port. Like, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, we have this all knowing, all powerful creator. The butt could have had like an interlocking system. <laughs> what? Like, like, okay, so like when you need to poop, it relaxes and the interlocking system opens. Oh boy. And then you poop. And then when you're done pooping. The interlocking you, system closes and do nothing you know, can get in. Do you know what a sphincter is? Well, I understand what a sphincter <laughs> is, but I'm like, saying, <laughs> like, that's things, the problem. God, things don't just fall in there on accident. No, but that's the problem. <laughs> God made the sphincter so that you could put something in there. If you had an interlocking system 
like like say like a Ziploc bag thing, what? then there's no you can't get <laughs> the penis or any kind of instrument into oh, wait. the system. Wait, so, are you talking about a butt hyphen? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, see, okay, like, look, I, I, okay, so I have my hand, like, here, but, but, no, you gotta, you gotta pay attention, come on, I have my hand, like, here, no, I watch, don't. like, even though I got it closed, I can still push that through, now, it, instead, oh, if there was just, like, a flat little system here, like imagine oh. my hand is two interlocking systems. Then I'm trying to stick the penis in, and it's just, no, it won't go. It will not go. Oh fuck me! So who do you guys I, have for the Super Bowl? Like I saw this <laughs> asshole in half, and then you, you, you flex seal it shut. I think we got Maddie's new channel, designing uh, yeah. sex with Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, you got. I'm just saying, it, there's so many things that, like, like, humanity has come up with so Stop. many ways to seal things, and then oh, God yeah. was like, I'm just gonna let them figure out that I don't want them putting anything in that oh, hole. Oh my God, y'all. Fuck. And the other ones, I don't want anything put in those holes until they like it and they put a ring on it. Right. <laughs> See the ring that see if God knew God had a plan and knew everything, then the ring could be placed into the belly button, which could open up the vagina. Oh, for God's sake! You're talking chastity belts. Do you know how far back in history you have to go? I'm not talking about a chastity, chastity belt. belt. I'm talking about an evolved trait that God could have given us, where you just put the ring in the belly hey, button, you hey, spin it a hey, couple hey, times, Maddie. and everything opens, and then you're ready for business, uh, Maddie. The Avatar 2 sequel's gotten pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, can we talk about the article? I'm okay. trying to talk about the article. <laughs> you know, if, if somebody would have told me at the beginning of the show that this is what we'd be talking about, my reaction would have been, well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Okay, so apparently this church, they say they abide by a certain standard that standard being who fucking knows uh <laughs> actually they they define it as uh that for christians marriage is the lifetime lifelong union between man and woman contracted with the making of vows remains the proper context for sexual activity and to uphold the standard to affirm the value of committed sexual abstinent friendships within such civil union partners. Okay. Uh, sexual relationship relationships outside heterosexual marriage are regarded as falling short of God's purpose for human beings. As I said before, who the fuck, how the, how the fuck did they know this? Oh, darn. We're falling yeah. short of God's purpose. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to so lose sleep right. over this, y'all. <laughs> And if we're talking about standards and upholding of values, I mean, isn't being inclusive and being decent to other human beings kind of more important than this yeah. whole whatever the fuck God's purpose is thing? Well, he kicked us out not. of paradise from eating from a tree. I mean, well, yeah. I like how the I like how the church that was created to uh, grant divorce is uh, talking about lifelong unions. I know. <laughs> The irony! Oh, it's uh, it's just dripping with hypocrisy. No, um, that, no, now that now there's a whole other can of worms that's been opened here. <laughs> God <laughs> kicked humans out of paradise for eating a fucking apple. Yep. But he didn't make it to where we couldn't th stick things in our assholes. Well, it wasn't yeah. an apple per se. Oh, are you going with my grandfather's idea? Yeah. Where it was, it was actually anal sex that Adam just wanted. <laughs> yeah. He that's... was like, hey, I stuck a snake up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's where and, the snake uh, comes in. And I, okay. You have something down there that I think you can stick in my ass too. And I've got fingers. That sounds just <laughs> unbelievably Freudian, doesn't it? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Where is Sigmund whenever you need him? This is taking something up his though. ass, probably. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty 2020. sure he's funny. Pretty sure he's dead. But anyway, uh, 
So, of course, uh, this is in the UK, right? Church of England. So the Civil Partnership Act came into force December 2005, allowing same-sex couples to acquire legal status and rights in relation to property, inheritance, and tax entitlement. And in 2013, same-sex marriage was legalized. Now, the Church of England does not permit same-sex marriage. However, it allows clergy to be in a same-sex civil partnership as long as they are sexually abstinent. Yeah, because that's working out, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not doing it. Nope, we're no, we're totally not doing it, y'all. That's we're, what we're I not. mean. They're like, do they have confession in Church of England? Are they like able to go in there and be like, you know what? Bless me, Father. I've said I had sex with my partner. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, that leather daddy outfit on the wall is for decoration only. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh. Those are personal massagers, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Rolling pins. Rolling pins. Uh, we like to, you know, make tortillas every now and then. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> That's a very weird sexual innuendo. We're going to make some tortillas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh, all right. yeah. Tortilla so, making. Reverend Brown. <laughs> That's what yeah, I look like. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, that's, that's, so, oh, that's, that's the face. Yeah. Too much. Uh, anyway, the director of Mission and Public Affairs says civil partnership is not the same as marriage, which is founded on the taking of solemn public vows. What? It's the same thing. What? Uh, <laughs> and is recognized in the churches. Oh, in the church. Yeah, is the only proper context for sexual relationships. Fuck this shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. So anyway, these people are dicks and I don't like them. That's yep. basically what this boils down to. They make no sense. And like, uh, what does it hurt you if if a same-sex couple is able to get married? What does that fucking do to the entire Church of England? Well, Nothing. It's, it seems like they really, I mean, they can't say, oh, we don't care about the marriage. But they're like, eh, we'll look the other way. Just don't have sex. Don't. Right? Yeah. We're not. Yep. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's just the dumbest well, thing. I mean, I just, I wait. Can't... It's like, we're against this, psych. I mean, yeah. I wait, don't, so I don't know. they have to abstain from sex, but the church only views sex as vaginal. Oh. So, and vaginal and, and you know, Peen, I don't know. Penal? Penal? <laughs> Penal? No, we don't have sex. We wrestle a lot. Yeah. But that would mean that they can have all the gay sex they want. That sounds a lot like soaking, right? Oh, yeah. God, the way yes. that they get around like the sex mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is it? Mormons or Jehovah's Mormons? Yeah. I can't, I can't, I get those confused all the time. I think it yeah. was Mormons that they both annoyingly came from. knock on people's doors. Yeah. yeah, I've talked to them both and get them all confused. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this church just makes no sense. So back There's to what that. I was saying, if you had an interlocking system. Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so. It could even be like this. Like, look at that. That's not, you're not getting through that. If that's, if your anus looked like this. My God, Red, no. please. Be a please. doctor. Red, is this your article, the Trump administration? No, that's well, not that's, mine. That's me. That's you. Okay, let's. I talk finally about... have a topic, and you 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 forget who it is. <laughs> yeah. this is... Really? Mean, wow. You, okay. You weren't catty corner, so I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this. Trump administration rolls out new federal guidance for prayer in public schools. Take it away. So, so this is this is interesting because it happened, I think, the sixteenth. Um, but it's just now starting to really like I've seen stuff come up on uh, AL.com and other places where Trump y'all praise Jesus. I feel the spirit moving. Trump has brought prayer back to schools, you know, because those evil Satanists and atheists and, and fascists took prayer out of schools. And now Trump, he done brought it back. And, and actually, he didn't do anything. It's exactly the same. And prayer was actually never taken out of schools. And, you know, the, the ruling that they're referring to there is uh, Engel versus Vital, Vital, uh, 
which barred school employees acting in their official capacity from prescribing or requiring prayer. <clears throat> and Trump rolls out this new federal guidance, which actually didn't change hardly anything. It was just like, well, be sure to keep an extra eye out that, you know, students aren't being forced not to pray in schools is essentially what it boils down to. But that was already, the federal guidance was already put in place by Bush in 2003 that, you know, made sure that teachers couldn't prevent students from praying or prevent student bodies from playing, praying or organizations that are religious within the schools. Um, he did absolutely nothing and is now being hailed as the next Jesus by his followers on this. There are so many people like you, if you go to the AL.com page and you go to the comments, there's just hundreds of praise Jesus and Trump is bringing God back to the white house. And we got prayer back in schools and everything and nothing actually changed. It just, this story for me highlights the the just the massive dis, massive gulf between facts and and what he's saying because he's played played this up like he's bringing you know he's brought prayer back to schools and he's signed this executive order and they've changed the federal guidance and it's you know we're nothing's going to stand against our religious liberties because we're american and we're and and it it didn't it didn't actually do anything it didn't change hardly anything from Bush's guidance on it. And it definitely didn't overturn the Supreme Court decision uh, right? that was made in 67. Of and course it didn't. That's what I was going to say is even the Bush thing did nothing. No. The Bush thing was this exact thing. So it was because yeah. kids have always been able to pray in school. They've always yes. been able to have prayer groups and and like carry Religious their Bibles clubs. and shit. But the Bush administration did this like, God, almost it's 2003 years ago. Yep. Yeah. 2003. And it, it was just a word salad thing that said the exact same thing that they yeah, could already the, do. And then Trump it, just did it again. So is this an actual virtue signal? Yes, that is, yes. That is an actual okay. virtue. So, and it's all it is is to verify that school districts have no policies limiting constitutionally protected prayer and refer violators to the education department. So essentially it just says that, you know, you, you, you couldn't have a student or a teacher that tells kids that they can't pray or body organizations, things like that, which I find unlike, I mean, I'm sure it happened and that's why everybody's oh, wow. you know, going nuts about it, but, uh, or, or did back then, but essentially, you know, it's it, Trump, Trump has brought prayer back to schools by doing absolutely nothing. And all of his followers are just, tripping all over themselves as to what a godly yes. presidency he is. And, you know, I, it's like they, they don't realize that a federal guideline does not overturn a Supreme court ruling. Like they yeah. they live in a different land. It's so, it's so weird. Let me get this straight. They basically took, they took an already implemented bullshit thing, copy and pasted it into the department of education guidelines or what have you. And then decided to, plagiarize i mean yeah. yeah they they changed a couple of words in bush's guidelines <sighs> and published that they had brought prayer back to schools well this yeah. is just and like that prayer Star was Trek. never gone that's the no, thing and you that's, just you cannot be a a a employee at a school and mandate that kids pray a certain way well we you know they can't have their talking point taken away they got to have something to talk about and rail against and it's usually bullshit that they rail against. Well, this will be another thing. You just wait. I guarantee you in the Trump campaign, it one of the one of the things that will be listed on his vast, you know, overwhelming accomplishment is he brought prayer back to schools. It's nothing more than pandering to evangelical uh, idiots who don't bother to fact check, who take everything at face value, who didn't realize in the first place that you could pray in school. You know, and so yeah. it just it it's nothing more than smoke and mirrors and more lies and just absolute bullshit. That's what frustrates me about it is because you could do all of these fucking things. And the only reason he's doing this, like you said, it's to manipulate his base. Yep. And that because you you know, those people believe that 
they're under attack, that Christianity is under attack, this feeds into it. Like, yep. oh, well, look at what the, the big bad atheist did and voila, Trump fixed it. It's like, but it was yeah. already like that. Yeah, it's kind of like those snake oil salesmen that like yes. make that make up an ailment and say mm -hmm. they have the solution. You know, it's the same. And you know, they keep doing this because it works. It, but yeah. that's let that sink in for a minute. It works. But you know yeah, what? Say what you want, but I hear next week Trump is gonna legalize chocolate. And I <laughs> we've gone yeah. far too long without chocolate in this country legalize yeah. the chocolate do it it's just it's so dumb it really yeah. is it's just uh, nothing this this president has done absolutely nothing apart from things that already were law really it, it, that has like that hasn't been attacking some group in some way mm -hmm. like yeah. he, he's done a whole lot of attacking groups but like anything else he's done is like, ah, hey, you know, this is what you're going to do. Yeah. We're, we're going to do the things you already did. You're going to do it better now. The thing that really irritates me about all this shit is this is a, a president who has made it to where essentially you can, if you are a caretaker, if you are in the medical field or you're a pharmacist or you're whatever, and a patient comes to you and you don't agree with them and their quote unquote lifestyle yep. uh, based on your religious beliefs, you can just deny their medication, deny them treatment, deny them access to things that could potentially save their life. Now, that is what really pisses me off about this whole rhetoric and you know the stuff that's behind all of these actions that he's been taking in order to cater to the evangelical right, uh, this might be empty, but some of the other things he's done are not. Yep. Mm -mm. And that's what really ticks me out about the whole, ticks me off about the whole thing is he's talking about freedom and, you know, values and life, but disregarding human life as he does this. And it's just a slap in the face. Yeah, it's scary because, like, <laughs> Can you imagine being in that position? Like you need your life saved and they're like, oh, well, you're a member of the LGBT community. So I don't think so. I'm not going to do it. Like there should be laws against that. Exactly. And there were protections. And, yes. Not and anymore. Trump, and Trump has slashed a lot of those protections. And that's, that's what one of the <laughs> major things that we're going to have to tackle the next president hopefully we'll have to tackle and be i don't know competent enough to do so so yeah it's just it's so like uh transgender equality in the workplace is is uh going before the supreme court um mm. and we've when got, is that happening uh, uh I believe just within the next week i think oh soon. Okay. um we're going to have to cover that, definitely. Yeah. yeah, this this whole presidency is just a fucking mess. Like like they said in the chat, we've had evangelical worship services broadcast from the White House. Yep. Yes. Um, and, and the only you know, time Trump has ever prayed is when he was hoping that the woman he slept with would say yes to the abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. That's the only wow. time he's ever prayed. Well then, uh, I, that, yuck. It's awesome. <laughs> yuck. I mean, it's mm. probably not far off. I just, when this is another Tiffany. opportunity, this is another opportunity, I think, to remind everyone to please, if you can, support the ACLU. Uh, they're fighting a lot of this stuff. Uh, not, I mean, even this prayer and school thing. I mean, but definitely the ones that matter. They're definitely fighting those. So, yeah, reach out and support them. Agreed. And it, it's also a good time to remind everyone that the reason why Tiffany Trump isn't as close to any any of the other Trumps is because Tiffany's mom didn't agree to the abortion. 
Uh, yeah, thanks for explaining. You're welcome. I was so confused. Like, I didn't make the Tiffany Trump connection. And I was like, why in the middle of snarky talking is Maddie just like, Tiffany? Sure. <laughs> like, what is going on? I need to explain it, snarky. Because I'm dumb. No, you're you not. Need... <laughs> I, uh, I didn't make the connection either. You need so, to ex yeah. You need to interrupt me to explain it. Cool, cool, cool. Thank All right. Know. Yeah. All right. So are we done with this topic? Tiffany. Tiffany. Great. <laughs> Tell us about this cat. Okay. So, uh, per Tiffany. <laughs> you know what's coming. Yes. So a uh, animal shelter in North Carolina is trying to adopt. So out I would just like to take this moment to just blatantly interrupt Maddie for yes. the interruptions earlier. So turns out they're trying to adopt. Bunnies are great. The world's <laughs> worst cat. Its name is Perdita. And it says, we thought she was sick. Turns out she's just a jerk. And this is the scowl that Perdita has constantly. Um, this is this is actual angry cat. Oh. And, and like, yeah. so this cat came to the shelter. They thought that the cat was very sick, um, didn't want to be handled, didn't want to be touched. Turns out it just hates people. Um, I relate. And they're trying to adopt it out to someone that isn't really looking for a cat to love Tiffany! Them. Maybe <laughs> Tiffany could. This would be like the love of her father. <laughs> um, oh. But, but yeah, uh, trying to adopt this cat out. Uh, not, obviously having a difficult time because, like they said, they need a house that basically is going to feed the cat, uh, look at it like an ornament, <laughs> And not get too upset when it tries to rip their face off. Mm -hmm. uh, this this cat they 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 actually do say um, it it looks like it's trying to devour your soul. Uh, <laughs> anytime it looks at you, every once in a while it will let you get like two or three pets in before it just tears into you. Uh, and it just it's not a people person it's not a people cat but so it, it's, we should send it to the church of england right mm -hmm. yes okay. but it is a pretty cat it's a very pretty cat and if you're in north carolina and you don't want something to love you <laughs> but you want it's like having a teenager let me tell you <laughs> you're not getting love but you're feeding something and making sure it doesn't die that's this having this cat is yep. just like having a teenager so if if you're looking for i was gonna say if you're looking for a teenager and that would have sounded that's, really yeah. fucking bad yeah. oh. if you're looking for a cat go ahead get perdita get perdita that's my story Tiffany! Tiffany! Yeah, that's great! A, that was a great story. Yes. Yes. I, I love the kitty stories. All right. Next, we have attorney offers free divorce for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that's amazing. <laughs> that is uh, awesome. It's totally true. Um, and this, uh, he he's in Tennessee. So um, you basically it's like a competition um or like a lottery i think so you have to like i don't know put your name in that you need a divorce but um he will give you his services as a divorce attorney um and like they said the the law office of w scott kimberly released a statement on the giveaway saying that for many people, Valentine's Day is another reminder that they remain trapped in a relationship that they cannot leave because of financial problems, because of a spouse who refuses to agree for divorce or for some other reasons. So, um, yeah, they, he, he gives his service for free. The, the, this is not the first time he's done it either. Um, he actually had two winners last year 
that he um, did for free, um, but they are responsible for court costs and filing fees, but I guess like any retainer fee or anything else is totally covered. So if you, uh, if you're in the neck of the woods in Tennessee and you want to get out, just enter the giveaway for a free divorce. See, they should have done this as a competition and a reality show. Oh, they yes. should have put like six or eight couples in a house all together and had them play games where they had to like prove their hate for each other. And then yes. there could be a sick redemption arc at the end where none of them actually want to get divorced. They realize their love for each Aww. other by seeing all of these Aww. other terrible couples. So I work with, I work with a lady who, uh, whose husband gave her divorce papers on Valentine's. Oh, that is awful. That's cruel. Why did, why did we just switch? What just oh, happened? Sh oh, shoot. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> the ship thing stopped. Oh, oh no, hi. this is, it's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> there we oh go. Okay. God, now we're tiny I, on the screen. Did I get it back? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It just said, nope. I think you what do you mean? The show for tiny. ants. I but, didn't. But yeah, uh, she, she came home one day. He had made dinner, had candles, um, had music playing, and when she sat down instead of a plate there were divorce papers fuck what a that's, dick oh. that is so <laughs> fucking oh brutal. god that is just that's that's don't, fucked up don't oh, yeah. fucking don't ever fucking do that jesus yeah oh. Although, um the re real classy um the the twat waffle if anyone's watched my me too video um told me about how he will never by um, an engagement ring around a holiday ever because technically if it's around a holiday it's considered a gift and they don't have to like give it back but if it's not on a holiday he can take that shit back i don't what? think he exactly knows how the law works in terms of gifts yeah i don't, I don't. it doesn't work that way it what I didn't think so either, but that, doesn't this dude watch Judge Judy? <laughs> no. <laughs> like that's not that's that's not how gifts work. Oh. No. That's never okay. bit, but yeah, it, it's this is a great idea. This is actually And I'm just thinking of yeah. all the people who are like, honey, I signed us up for a contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it a best couple contest? <laughs> Kind of. You're damn Yay. right. It's me and my yeah. new. In Never a, mind. I'll tell you later. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. So, did I skip anyone or did uh, Red have Red a topic? Yes. Anything. Um. So I don't have anything with it. Um. Just kind oh, okay. of more. Uh. Kind of some thoughts on the the Sanders Rogan stuff. So. Oh yes, that is. Whew. <laughs> All right. So. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a Bernie supporter, um, on here. He's my first, uh, choice candidate and, um, you know, I seen how everybody's reacted about, um, this Bernie stuff there. I was in a group chat with, um, some people that are further left than I am, um, big Bernie supporters and stuff like that. And this was before the whole, um, he clipped the uh, ad together and, uh, with uh, Rogan saying, hey, I'm going to pick uh, Bernie in the primaries. Um, we we're talking about on how we deal with um, – there, there's the, this kind of thing about we got to bring everybody in or as many as we can to do stuff. And what happens with the Sanders-Rogan thing kind of paints out kind of the, the, the big concern that – I mean, I, you guys addressed it last night on the show – that you have with it, um, that, uh, we're going to protect, uh, the people that we bring in, uh, from the deserved criticism. And it's, so it's, um, how to deal with those concerns and stuff, you know, like, and just seeing the reaction, uh, from a lot of Sanders supporters, uh, defending Rogan and the shitty, sh shitty things he said, um, 
you know, it, it it's playing out. Um, like I know a lot of you guys have expressed to me in different things and different contexts about different people and different things, but that um, we're going to ignore the stuff that they did bad and they're a good person now because they support the right guy kind of thing. And so that, that we had, a, we had a discussion behind there. I'm not going to go on who was what um, about it, but it was just like, you know, I like, we're going to have to, in politics, you're going to have to work with people that um, you're going to have to make some tenuous alliances sometimes to do things. And I'm not against doing that, but it's when you make those tenuous alliances and then you say, well, we can't fucking do anything, say anything against them, say anything um, different stuff now. Hey, they're helping us get this done. It's like, no, you can still criticize them. And, you know, as a Bernie supporter, I wouldn't have had cut, had Bernie cut the ad for with uh, Rogan support. I mean, you don't have to, make a big deal out of it and then sponsor uh, tweets and posts and stuff like that to get uh, that clip uh, trying to go viral. So, you know, right. d- yeah, no, I'm, you guys have? I'm totally with you on, on that. Like for starters, it wasn't even an actual endorsement. No, it was all probably vote Bernie. And it's also, it's a primary endorsement which means absolutely nothing for the general. Um, Rogan is, as far as I know, still considers himself a libertarian, um, has voted libertarian in the past. And so this could be all for nothing. So people could be completely betraying Mm -hmm. their values and, and promoting Rogan and come the general election. He's like, I'm voting libertarian. And then all of those supposed voters you're getting from it, are going to vote libertarian if they're that easily swayed by Joe Rogan. Well, I've had discussions today with people that were just like, oh, we need to, the ends justify the means. We need to go ahead and set aside our principles if we want to win. Yeah. And, and this no. whole lie that, that Bernie beats Trump in all the polls and it, what I just come on y'all and and that's the thing is is the second part of of what I was going to say there is Rogan could have it could have been a full uh a completely full endorsement Rogan could have said I am voting for Bernie against Trump and the Bernie campaign all they would have had to have done was say well uh we we're we're gaining traction from all comers and we appreciate support and then moved on Mm -hmm they didn't have to make a video promoting Rogan as if he was some kind of, yes, as if it was some kind of Messiah moment where this Rogan is going to lead Bernie to the presidency. Um, that's the thing. Like most people go, Oh, they're all upset because Rogan endorsed him. No, no one's upset because Rogan endorsed Bernie. We're upset that the campaign was like, Oh my God. Yay. Let's go out here and promote this out the wazoo yeah because Mm -hmm. bernie has a whole lot of support and many of those people probably have never even heard of joe rogan or you know and now he's exposed his his base to an awful 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 human being and if you're going to deny that he's an awful he has said awful human being things then I don't know what to tell you. You're lying or you're not paying attention. Like, well, this brings me back to the concept that um, uh, Anita Sarkeesian had in her videos of you can like a thing and criticize the fuck out of it. Yes. Like, why, why do people not get that concept? Why, why is it so bad to say, hey, even though I like this part of the thing, there is this part and then try to work on that part, but no, it's going to be all or none. It's got to be, it's that dichotomous thinking once again, that polarization. And like, I mean, like it's been brought up in the chat, are we now just opening it up to all endorsements? Like, I mean, there's a lot of Nazis that like David Duke. So if he were to come out and say, I'm supporting Bernie Sanders, are we then going, well, you know, we got to reach out. Yeah, I mean, where do we draw the fucking line? Yeah. Seriously. So, I mean, I, and I don't have a pro, like a lot of people try to straw man 
what I say. I I don't have a problem with Bernie Sanders supporters on the no. on the whole. I have a problem with a lot of the online Sanders supporters. Yeah, um, like yep. <laughs> Today I even got someone one of the Bernie supporters was basically saying, you know, oh, I hate to basically he said if you cut a liberal a Nazi bleeds. Yeah. And I was Jesus. and I was like, and I was like cuz I just said, look, I'm a liberal. I uh I am not going to take, you know, an endor I don't think this endorsement celebrating this endorsement is the right thing to do and I was told that so it's like, y'all, yeah, that's, that's y horrible. Y'all got a shit lord problem in the Bernie camp, and uh, you know this woohoo Joe Rogan thing is not going to help. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean that just kind of that just. I'm I'm sorry, but I had to <laughs> I had to say what the person said because it made me just go what? No, I'm with you. And we got a super well. chat from Beast Nation, two dollars. If Duke says I'm with Bernie, me I I'm out. I'm headed out. I'm a head out. <laughs> yeah. And you need yeah. To imagine the SpongeBob. Yes, the SpongeBob. I, I'm headed out. Yes, exactly. You know, Thank you, Beast Nation. So, so with the talk of like you know, if David Duke came out and supported Bernie, you know, as long as he's not put it there, whatever. I don't, I don't care because I don't think he actually supports him. I think it's you know trying to, you know, kind of like how. Um, uh, they'll run like uh, someone's too liberal or all this other stuff kind of ads as kind of um, um, what, what's the term it's not astroturfing it's um, but you know what I mean like they there was a Republican group like last election cycle that put out um, a thing bragging about how liberal Bernie was in Iowa as a way to kind of support him and prop up a different candidate in the yeah primary kind yeah. of stuff so they do this all the time so you know, if someone like David Duke said it, you know, went there. But I mean, if you turn around and say, well, now we can bring him in and do all this other stuff, it's like, mm. oh, and. I mean, but can't the same thing, like, be said about Rogan? Yeah. Like, is Rogan a progressive? <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Well, uh, according David... to Bill Maher, I bet she. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that take was yep. bad with the Ooh. names you're throwing on there. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I think he's, I mean, I think he's generally on. Some of the stuff is more left leaning um, kind of guy. He's just you know a meathead and is proud to be the dumb meathead. And, I think you know, he's all that stuff left wing there. in terms of drug decriminalization. He he's got a lot of leftist and, position, left wing yeah. positions, but he's also missing a lot of like yeah. you know I would say if I were to pin him, I'd say that he's left of center. But yeah, you know, he's a lot not, like shoe on head, right? Yeah, but he's part. he's just a shithead. Like I yeah. mean, you know, it's like no I don't. Shoe. Uh, oh yeah that's they're both ar shitheads. arguably more of a shithead than joe rogan um yeah. <laughs> which is pretty bad but you know mm -hmm. that's the thing that's the thing with a if david duke came out in support of bernie okay you know that's i, I you know whatever but then if bernie like ran a commercial yeah. bragging about the david duke you're like oh now hold up just a second because <laughs> i know uh, there you know that's that's where it gets no, i don't, the, I don't care who commercial it's yeah. yeah well i think i think a lot of it is um with uh, someone like joe and i think it's a lot uh, representative of a lot of people is that they don't have a very coherent um political ideology right so it's kind of they, they feel it'll feel their way through on certain things and it it's not always backed up by stuff because we know like rogan's long been a big conspiracy theorist he's kind of disowned some of that stuff uh, in recent years <laughs> yeah um, um you know it's like the little things not well researched not anything like that so they don't they don't form a uh, coherent ideology right so it's they'll pick up something here and something oh this just feels right this feels this feels, feels it makes sense and i feel that's a, a, how a lot of people operate um, oh yeah i think well, so too just it, by automatic you know it, it brings up the counterpoint too because another thing that we've seen recently is uh somebody endorsing a candidate you know, and it's the same. We saw it with Warren because I saw multiple posts whenever the New York Times came out <laughs> and endorsed Warren. People were like, well, you know what? I was going to vote for Warren. But, you know, now that the New York Times endorsed her, I suddenly 
don't like what? the policies anymore. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's and one slight correction: the New York, New York Times uh, endorsed both Warren and Klobuchar. Yeah, yeah. they uh, but they both it, sides the entire gender. That's how yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did. That was kind of cringe, but at the same time, it's like if you drop your support for Warren because of that, I really don't. I don't understand. I don't understand your reasoning. It's not coherent or anything. Yeah, uh, and then and then you know the these same people are markedly silent on Joe Rogan throwing his endorsement behind Bernie Sanders, and you're like, now hold on, you got you got a newspaper endorsement, uh, which is suddenly I'm not a fan of Warren anymore, and then you have an absolute shithead endorse Bernie, and it's like. Well, why is everybody saying that it's just an endorsement? You're like, well, just have just a little fucking consistency, please. Oh, wow. But, you know, like, come on. Mm-hmm. Well, and that, I mean, that gets to what I, to me, endorsements don't actually mean shit. No. Yeah. Um, endorsements are a form of celebrity worship in my mind. Uh, like if, if, a, if, if an endorse, someone endorses your candidate that you like, you really like your candidate more. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, Beyonce endorsed my candidate. <laughs> if someone you don't like endorses your candidate, oh my God, the New York Times, they're kind of liberal. I can't stand them. They they endorse my candidate. I I gotta find a new candidate. That's it's really just... weird. It's so it's strange. I just want to say to the people that have come to that conclusion because of the New York Times article, please rethink that because I think you can do better. I think you can do better to yourself in terms of reasoning your way through this. I mean, this is an important topic. This is something that you need to consider like really deeply, you know, and you can't just take it on a whim like that. Oh, they endorsed you. So I'm a nope out of this. No, that's. Is that just it's a just a primary endorsement, isn't it? Because those yeah. the New York Times endorse yeah. Republicans as well and primary stuff. Yes, it's, a, it's a primary endorsement. It basically means nothing when it comes to the general. And it, it's just like, okay, so let's talk about uh the we'll go back to the Rogan endorsement. So everybody is so excited about all these Rogan fans that are going to jump on the Bernie wagon. How many of those Rogan fans are also watching other people like Alex Jones um, and, and Prager U and people like that? How much crossover there? And, well, look, which, sunlight, which one of these celebrities are they going to follow the most? Look, sunlight you know? is the best disinfectant, y'all. Well, it's like, mm. you know, um, <laughs> there's probably a good chunk of uh, Rogan's audience that were already Bernie fans that'll watch some of the Rogan stuff. Right, to begin with so it's not right a big deal like i mean i watch uh joe rogan's podcast every now and then when there's a certain guest on but i mean i just you know. i want to say uh artos bear in the chat said that i'm pretty today and i appreciate that thank you oh yes. thank your paint you, is very pretty i appreciate it and i just i just killed the chat there. Yeah. Yeah. you did you did you totally did speaking of endorsements uh hang on des moines register endorses what whoop big Yay, deal i haven't read a des moines register in like 10 years <laughs> I've read, i live in the i live in the modern times and we don't <laughs> get newspapers Oh wow! I've read the register in the past year. In the past year. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't make me fight you, okay? Tiffany. Oh, uh, this one. <laughs> okay, Great. I'm gonna need sound for this one. Maybe not. There's no sound. You didn't <laughs> share it with sound. Yeah, I did share it with sound. Oh, so there's no sound on this. We we yeah, can do the sound effects. And then we just missed it. We did. You you you. you, 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 you I'm sorry. Bork, 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 bork. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck that's, is going on? That's a sweet puppy. I'm sorry, y'all. That is. I, I love that dog. That dog is life. It's life. Dog Whoop. is amazing. Yes, they wrap fish in newspapers in some places. And I don't know what the, I think it's a lion with Dorito eyebrows, but I love. Lemon Pig is very offended. 
Yeah, lemon pig <laughs> looks way better than that. Yeah. This is, that this is, is culturally gonna be... appropriating lemon pig right now. I'm saying <laughs> don't go after lemon pig. How oh, right does lemon pig smell right now? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, get you a good whiff. Honest, oh. lemon pig, pig kind of smells like a uh, pledge now. <laughs> and wow. I, I mentioned last night, lemon pig is now completely hard. Um, lemon pig is entering <laughs> its final form. Yes. <laughs> uh, but after lemon pig finally dies, we're going to get this little guy because I think it's cute. So, oh yeah, we haven't seen this, have we? No, we haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this was so cute of a gift that I had to bookmark it. You, how, how dare, dare you? you. <laughs> I forget what this post was on, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, we're oh, gonna. Was look. that was that for me? Yes, that was for you. That was on, um, you had said that you brought in, like, facts into a discussion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you did what? How dare you? <laughs> How freaking dare you? Nope. And that's a mama. Because it's got the little poof there. Where oh. it, it nests babies and it pulls out fur for the nest. Yeah. It gives oh, that's them- usually a good sign when they land over on their side. It feels mm. safe. Yeah. Aww. Looks delicious. This is also a good sign when when they're before a podium, they feel safe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the president of Ireland always has his dog around him. Oh, puppy. That's, that's really cute. Dog. Says dong. I was, I, 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 yeah. Whenever you expanded that picture, <laughs> I, was like, a dog I, was, was, I was thinking, yeah, there, it was not what I was expecting. There's uh, no, <laughs> there's no is, way I was gonna read that and not say dong. There's no way. <laughs> I was thinking, man, that he's uh, fiddling all the uh, Irish stereotypes as a drama. Yeah. Uh, Scientist Mel just sent a four ninety nine super chat, which means they're on an Ooh. Apple product. How dare you? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it says, been a while, but want to send love. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Sending love right back to you. It has been a while. Uh, yes. This is how I look usually when I'm scrolling through my Twitter. I don't know about y'all. I mean, that's been me the last couple of days. Yeah. So, so uh, Boris Johnson's fighting a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's pointing at performers dressed as lions during what? the Chinese New Year celebrations. And that's that's great. 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 <laughs> that's that's yeah. Yeah. Bag. Pretty sure there's nothing racist or appropriating about would, any would of somebody that. Please no. buy him a hairbrush. No, Just for fuck's that's sake. That's his whole thing. Like he is <laughs> one of the three stooges. Like that's his whole <laughs> shtick. <laughs> And like from the very beginning, getting caught on that uh, zip zip line. As far uh, yes. as I know, that was all pre-planned. Oh, I'm sure. To I'm make sure. him look like adult. Well, this is a bush tit. Oh. <laughs> look at that I... tit. <laughs> no, look at that uh, normally, tit. I would say if your tit has a bush. Look at the bush tit. <laughs> Don't kink <laughs> shame. Trim. Nope. This is this is not a deadly bush. It's a cute bush. Yes, bush tit. Yeah, this 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 bush doesn't need trimmed. It does look like it's on fire, though, y'all. <laughs> you know what they say? Red on. T- Never mind. Uh huh. So we gotta watch this because this is topical. <laughs> <laughs> this is this oh. is this is somebody who blocked me this week. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I thought it would be appropriate to go ahead and show this. Right here on this stage, please welcome the groin kicker himself, Peter Coffin. <laughs> 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 and it's amazing because it's, uh, what is it, the craziest person in America, I think is what this show is called. Uh, I don't even remember the show. I don't either. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, Steve. This was on UPN on Sundays. I was muted. This 
is the look of a what guy a, that's fit to uh, kick himself boy. in the why don't, nuts. Why don't you pause it for a second? I, I was. <laughs> I've, I've never found Steve Harvey funny. Yeah. No, I haven't no me neither. I just... I despise him. The only person I've ever found funny that had a shouty routine, which is what I would say Harvey basically has, um, is Sam Kinison. I liked Kinison, but I, like, and I'm not comparing Harvey to Kinison. That would be really weird. Uh, but yeah, I've never found Steve Harvey funny. Yeah, you got to do more than scream at people to get you get me to laugh. <laughs> See, that was hilarious, though. That. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes. That's exactly what it is, Steve. I'm telling you, man. Let me get on this side, because I. I mean, hey, come on, Peter. Let me see. All right. Here we go. Oh, Are y'all ready? God. Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> let's, let's play that again. Let me see. Right, here we go. Yeah, it will. Yep. There you I go. Just, wow. Why? There you go. Yeah, I don't. What is, what is the point to this? I don't know, but I've been blocked. Well, I, I think a lot of this happens when they move out to Hollywood to try to get famous as like a comedian or anything like that. So, uh, so they go on these shows and do, you know, this is uh, trying to get their name out there in ways. I don't know well, how this is going to help, but great. all I got to say is Peter Coffin claim early claim to fame, being able to kick himself in the nuts and hasn't stopped since. Pretty much. I, that... Yeah, that was a conversation I didn't know I was jumping into like really choppy waters on that. Like, no idea. <laughs> he yeah. never answered. He never answered my question because I, I asked <laughs> him if he could still kick himself in the nuts. Oh yeah, <sighs> and I never got a response. We need to know this, y'all. This is yeah. important information. And also, how the fuck is liberalism right wing in oh. America? Oh, it's... well, you see, if you're talking about liberalism from the rest of the world, then you'd be... But we're not. No, we're talking no. about America. But yeah, they maybe. meant but at least uh, at least the... the oh, who was... Uh, I forget her name, but um, she meant American liberalism is right-wing. Yeah, there was Angie, and yeah, that's what she said. We were right-wing. Right economically yeah. economically uh, yeah economically that's right <laughs> well and that's not even true either it's no. <laughs> so it a lot with like um you know there's the issue uh among uh conservatives and stuff with what socialism actually is i think there's quite a bit of issue with uh socialism uh what capitalism is yeah. yes where you know and stuff all these different things come down that if you, know. you support capitalism in any way whatsoever, and you are right wing, unless you're using capitalism to tell other people that <laughs> yeah. liberalism is right wing, you know, well, and we use and we use like liberal is meant, you know, in the U.S. context is meant at, um, standing for social liberal, so you know those yeah. kind of things, and that is distinctly center left. Why and even you when so you're talking right about when even when you're talking about uh economic policy, liberals are in favor of all kinds of checks and balances on capitalism. Mm -hmm. Like we yeah. are not in the least bit fucking right wing when it comes to economics. Right. Well, like, don't so, you know, know a goddamn thing. Have you read all well, the books? Oh god. <laughs> Well, and another thing that irritates me is uh, how often they screw up what neoliberal is. Oh, yeah. it frustrates the hell out of me. Like, we... oh, sorry, I was gonna ask what Casey had to say. <laughs> She's been trying oh. to say something for a few times now. No, it's um, like you pointed out the hypocrisy in the whole like capitalistic, you know, like oh, we're we're against capitalism. But we buy all of the top things, you know, name brand crap that you can very easily get substitutes for. But they don't like it when you remind them that they're not living these ideologies that they're preaching. Yeah, it's like they they come from a position of privilege when you when they say things like, well, you know, we have to buy iPhones because that's, you know, we have to exist in the system. Fuck, no, you don't. If you really, really give a damn 
about how capitalism inherently uh, takes advantage of people and uh, causes harm and is just inherently bad, then you would do any, everything that you possibly could to not buy a phone manufactured by Apple. You just wouldn't, right? And you don't need that to operate society. <laughs> I just noticed something from the chat. I can't see the chat. I'm sorry. So um, Miranda uh, earlier posted unsubscribed and got in trouble. Oh, uh, no. But that's, <laughs> that's okay. It, it's just, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a very similar sense of humor, uh, me and Miranda, and so the the um... look. I I am no. I'm just gonna have to be forced to see a porcelain doll again. Oh, <laughs> Where's that? Maybe maybe don't harass Evans as much then. There you go. Oh. See. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I, I tell you what our mods are amazing and i'm sorry that happened to you miranda but you know mm -hmm. our mods are doing their job <laughs> well i would just like to say like it's been mentioned that their political compass puts any form of capitalism in the right wing oh yeah and if any of their you know revolutions of the past would have actually worked out maybe we could accept that but it hasn't <laughs> See, but that's just well, because of capitalism. So, you know, and another thing I, I dislike is, um, you know, if you support worker co-ops at all, you're a market socialist. It's like, no, that hasn't been market socialism for well over 100 years. But, yep. They you don't know. want to know that that's what uh, Adam Smith kind of pushed for. In, well, Adam in Smith. Yeah, Adam Smith, uh, David Ricardo. Um, and it's what many of the uh, leftists and stuff that they'll cite um, criticized. Um, so the later 19th century um, socialists and communists criticized the very early like Ricard and socialists and stuff like that. So they're kind of selling that as, oh, that's only socialism and that's all this other stuff. And, you know, it's the same with the libertarians selling that uh, capitalism is only, you know, this ANCAP, you know, very much ANCAP kind of idea. And it's like, um, no, you can have extreme laissez-faire on one side. You can have more uh, dirigist. Um, systems or Keynesian um, capitalism and stuff like that. So it's, I don't know, it's arguing or talking with uh, so, uh, a lot of people on either side. It's just like, man, you have really narrowly defined um, ideas of what these uh, systems and views are and where they sit. So yeah, definitely. And if you use, if you as a liberal who recognizes that capitalism needs reform, but is also a good thing that raises the standard of living and you have to live in this society so you appreciate some parts of it oh you're dirty filthy liberal but if they appreciate the capitalism that gets their message out well that's totally different well and okay, like, I, like i was gonna say i was a libertarian uh many years ago and i used to have super harsh arguments with ancaps um, because I was never an anarcho-capitalist. And now I have super harsh arguments with ANCOMs. And really, you just switch around a couple of the terms they use. And the arguments aren't all that dissimilar. It, it, it gets, it's just this point of they don't actually understand how the system itself works. But somehow destroying the system fixes it yeah they want to boil it down to like a sound bite taxation is fifth well i mean yeah, their, working their is greatest slavery. you know the, it, the the argument that you get from them is memes copy pastas like that like seriously yep i mean it's not like they've actually got a nuanced position on this it's just i want and i, th I think that it plays into the same thing like people that do conspiracy theories and go super hard line on these things people want just absolute certainty boiled down to as as simple as you can possibly get it and they refuse to recognize nuance like it's sad it's yeah. the world is freaking complicated markets capitalism all of these things are incredibly complex and you can't just be like ah fuck it burn it down and do away with money and you know it, everything's gonna be great all of a sudden it's gonna be fixed like it took a long time to get where we're at 
Yeah, but we got the magic spell, and and this dude over here, this is Jesus. He's gonna lead us uh, into the promised land. The utopia is coming, y'all. It's just yo, know, a lot of y'all are gonna have to die. That's cool. Just overlook that part. So you're gonna have to make this one bigger. Well, I don't think I can. Yeah, there you did. That's well, good. you can't 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 see the whole thing. So you can, can scroll, you can't scroll? You? Uh, yeah, I can scroll. Yeah, that's but, kind of the thing. You're gonna have to scroll because we no one would have been able to see it. I okay. see it all on uh, uh, the YouTube screen. You know what? Shut oh, up. Okay. The whole image. <laughs> <laughs> I know we changed it up. I no. am never wrong. Much larger. <laughs> so yeah, we got rid of the World War Three thing. Oh, coronavirus. Yeah, that shit's. I thought the freaky. I just yeah. learning about the this coronavirus. I thought it was just like a, a, a joke thing at first. No. And, you know, and then all of a sudden oh. it's like so I Did you see more. the lab next to it? Right? It, the lab had the in at, I haven't fact checked this, but I saw several places where uh, a lab next to the outbreak site had the Umbrella Corporation logo. It was what? different colors and it was a little bit different, but oh, uh, it was close enough that it was like, hold on just a second. See, <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I thought this was yep. a joke and I saw I, yeah, I saw the same thing that Evan said and I'm like, oh, it's some kind of meme. And then I, yep. I heard on the news the other day, no, it's a uh, massive uh, serious virus again I, I didn't i haven't had time to fact check it i saw it not long before we came on here but i saw it from two or three different sources oh. and it would be awesome if it was i'm, I'm so ready <laughs> I, I just want to say this kitten grows up to be hitler oh we're just gonna pat we're just gonna pass on the coronavirus they're yeah. called go Hitlers. To again. Well, yeah, yep. we're gonna go to we're Hitler again. cat apparently Hitler yeah cat. it's a it's kitler um yeah, hitler. cat must be a liberal we actually owned a cat that made it onto um, cats that look like Hitler.com. So, um, this is not a funny story here. Not not a funny story. I'm not talking about the Hitler thing because having a Hitler cat, that sounds funny as hell. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, it goes along with the coronavirus is uh, another virus. A youth minister this last week uh had the flu and it sounds like she was relying on the power of prayer to fix it until she was forced to go to the hospital and she died jesus so mm. no jesus did, you, wasn't there if you get the flu rely on the power of doctors yes, yes. not on the power of prayer because god god has a super bowl coming up Oh shit! And it's yep. obvious a lot of the work is going into that. Which Look, if, prayers to sort through for different Super Bowl teams you, to tally them up. You can pray in the doctor's office waiting room just as easily as you can pray at home. That's yep. right. I'm just saying, okay. That so, was a horrible move. story, though. This only Aww, this... my age, 36 years old, went to the hospital finally and was dead a day later. Mm. Jesus. Well, here's some pineapples, y'all. <laughs> Roll Tide. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. It's weird fucking set, like switches. Yeah. And we go from coronavirus to Hitler kitten. <laughs> Woman dies of the flu. Pineapples. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> the mix it up. And up. This is you, the wholesome part of the show. You, you gotta yeah. you gotta mix it up. And this is cool as fuck. Oh, that's awesome. In Holy Japanese shit. folklore, the Becky Kujira is a I butchered that. Sorry. <laughs> is a massive ghostly whale skeleton. I could say them words. Those who witness a Baki Kajuri Juri Jura are infected with a horrible curse which they bring back to their villages. The whale's curse brings famine, plague, fire, and other disasters. And it kicks ass. It doesn't look like a whale to me. It looks like a wave. It's a skeleton. Oh, it's, it's a, a whale. whale. I thought you said whale. Yeah. Whale no. skeleton. Whale skeleton. Skeleton of a whale. That's yeah. horrifying. That's amazing. That's why awesome. I don't go in the ocean. Oh, God. Awesome. Yeah, because it's right not there. real. There, there's not. There is. There's there, not. I don't believe any skeletons wander around in the ocean. And yeah. uh, I would like to say I do know that prayer and medicine is not mutually exclusive. In this case, it was. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. It, I understand. Like I always went to the doctor if I got the flu, even when I was really <laughs> fundamentalist. But yeah, there are that's... some people that it doesn't mix. That prayer and 
and medicine are mutually exclusive in their in their lives and that's what why i said you know earlier that y'all can pray just as easy easily in the doctor's office like for real there's yeah. no harm in that well there e- is even harm if you is, don't go to the doctor go ahead yeah even worse is the the parents that don't take their kids to the doctor oh, oh my god and yes. that's why you know hell that with just, those people yep yeah, that's don't do that and we so, got a super chat from tria the, there's oceany things in the ocean not going and i totally agree that should oh. be murder Thank you, Tria. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of funny because you live near the ocean. Poor Tria. All right. I don't blame you, though. There are scary things, but this is not. I'm going to repeat again. This particular thing is not in the ocean, y'all. Lies. Just, so uh, this was pretty funny tweet. I feel like Lindsey Graham has a couch that is solely devoted to fainting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, and... see, did you see where Lindsey Graham said that uh, he doesn't want to live in a country or he won't live in a country where Trump gets investigated and Biden doesn't? And Bye. Everyone's Bye. like, uh, yay. Felicia. Yeah. See ya. I'm, I'm just saying, Felicia. Yes. Like I have the I have the num nums num num nums. It's adorable. I would not have an otter as a pet though. They are extremely messy and loud and annoying, but they are cute. Oh, they're adorable. Is this otter named Steve? <laughs> well, I was wondering. Tria said it's, it's Steve. Steve, I'm yeah. Is that Steve the otter? I don't know. This one's this one's name is Gary. Gary yeah, the water is... sausage. Gary yes. likes to suck his hand. Okay, yes, and that's it's the fine. otter from Otter News named Steve. Okay. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Steve! Steve made it twice into my bookmarks. And uh, this is legit. This is what yep. you do. That's this, what cats do. Yeah. It is what cats do. You? It's warm on the computer, and I likes your attention. What you, you doing? Are, You're you not looking using at me. That what kind of you? a setup is that person got there? Like with You're, the gaming know. keyboard on top of the... I, <laughs> I buy a monitor, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Come on. Look, they and are busily destroying capitalism. And so yeah, they're they're getting after it. So there was this. It's a really cool pink penguin skeleton. Lots of skeleton shit in here, y'all. I don't know why. Well, because this was penguins this are so always cool. squatting. Yeah, they're always squatting. And that's that looks uncomfortable. But uh yeah, there was that. And then there's this one also, and <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> that would be an uncomfortable skeleton, definitely. A little bit, very, very short, stumpy legs there. Hey, I d- don't just at me next time. <laughs> Damn, come on. Oh, so this is the muse of tragedy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, y'all. Uh, the long sleeve garment with high sitting belt was worn by actors in Greek tragedy. The wreath of vines and grapes show association with Dionysus, God in the theater, Roman after Greek model of second CB, CBC, St. Heritage, Heritage, Hermitage Museum, St. Petersburg, Russia. That's pretty cool. Can y'all see that? Okay. Some close ups, a little horrifying. That's cool. <laughs> it's pretty but cool. i do have to say the, the sculptor gave up on a realistic face for the the head and the hand like <laughs> that does not look anything like the other face it's just like ah you know fuck it yeah we're I, just well I think it's supposed to be a mask right yeah i think yeah, that's what it's supposed to be it's a mask it's you know, oh, supposed it's to be a mask. Be- was i supposed to be paying attention yeah <laughs> yes you kind of were okay just saying all right tiffany <laughs> so this. we are summoning satan great the dark lord did not appear but there was a lot of farting they, they <laughs> needed one more for you know a proper yeah they did really they're, they're summoning switzerland 
<laughs> yeah, uh, and, and we all know Switzerland has a magnificent guard. They have magnificent banks, but they stay out of the business. They yeah. really do. So to, just imagine you summon Switzerland to take care of something. It's like, nope, we're going to stay neutral. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mark like- Dukes has been what shampoo uh, do I use? Yeah, well, uh, Mark, I honestly don't know what shampoo I use. It's the same stuff that I use for all sort of cleaning what? purposes. And it- yeah, he, what? He, he uses the same shampoo for his head that he does for so he's cleaning, like a three in one? cleaning the toilet. It's all blue, so maybe it's Windex. <laughs> It could be Windex. <laughs> that explains a lot about his hair. It does. It does. It's blue. That's all I know. It's blue. Uh, but um, he comes in a sort of tube. You know. You know, okay. you know. <laughs> <laughs> he shampoos with a woman. Is the way. <laughs> well, he shampoos with toothpaste, y'all. Yeah. It's blue and it's in the tube. <laughs> It is plastic. We've got to get down there. We've got to reduce this, the, the, the plastic consumption of this country. We have other plans uh, to do that. We're not uh, going to take care of his shampoo. He uh, is like it's Trump made over. Yes. Trump across the pond. I can I can envision Trump saying exactly, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Which, what's sad is it does sound slightly more intelligent with the English language, with the English accent. But yeah, it's, it does. It does. No. It's not, though. That's a, that's a scam, y'all. This is me when I'm. Cute. This is me when I'm angry. Apparently, it's me too. <laughs> oh, so this I've got to play sound. Oh, to chirp. Yeah, the chirpy kitty. Let's Didn't we watch this last week? No, no. That was the orange and white striped cat. Oh my god! Do you remember every cat you've ever watched? Yes. No. <laughs> Do y'all have a y'all in the chat? Do you have a cat that does this? Because I've I've got two of them that yeah, do this. Yeah, I've got one that does this. It is so cute. Whenever it's yeah. watching a bird. Yes, and this is some art by Ahana. Yes, is so amazing. Ahana is very talented. Did we ask uh, permission of Ahana? I'm pretty sure Ahana is cool with me promoting her art. Are you sure? I'm pretty well, sure. It, okay. it was posted online, though. Like, yeah. we didn't ask permission for the other bookmark tweets. Yeah, no, so. it, if you put it on Twitter, it's fair game. It's That's public right. platform, unless it's That's protected. what Aaron Carter tells me. Oh. <laughs> <Damn> it, <pirate laughs> no, it's, I mean, you credit the artist. We didn't say, look at this art that somebody else made. That I did, yeah. I, so, I just drew this. Yeah. So figs are pollinated by fig wasp. A female enters, if it's a male fig, she lays her eggs. Her offspring commit incest, and the males help the pregnant females burrow out. If it's a female fig, she pollinates it, but cannot lay her eggs and dies alone. Figs have at least one dead wasp. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yes. (laughs) Dead incestuous wasps. Yes. Mm. Get getting busy in them figs. <laughs> I love figs. I mean, there's a lot of wasp cum in figs. I've fig? never had like an actual fig. Oh, they're delicious. Oh, they're they're very very good. But remember, yeah. there's a wasp in them. I, it doesn't bother me. The juicier the fig, the more wasp cum. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I don't boy. think that's scientifically accurate. I think that's accurate. No. I wonder I'm gonna how need to much... see a source for that. Do they I have wonder... towels to dry off with? No, they don't, Evan. So where does it I'm go? Like... Oh I, my god! I'm not, like, I need a, I need a, I need, a, I need a citation for the juicier the fig, the more wasp come. Are you trying That's to tell me that a wasp after oh, sex boy. has an interlocking mechanism? Oh my god! Oh, uh, we're back to this. Uh, this is Maddie's big idea of 2020 right. here. Interlocking <laughs> <No>. butthole. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, have... actually, they're not having sex with the butthole. Actually, they're having babies, Evans. Hey, there's a woman trying to say some shit. Oh. No. All right. So, I'm <laughs> uh, wondering if uh, how much uh, of the uh, fig wasp they allow in, fig new- in each fig newton. Like there's got to be like a, a oh, cap. Yeah. That's ground up. Yeah, yeah. ground up. Newtons. I mean, fruit and cake hey. and wasp. 
Extra I've had protein. those. They're good. I like Fig Newtons. Yeah. They're I like good. regular figs better. Fig preserves. They're pretty cool. So how long is this? This is pretty long, I think. But yeah, Adam Schiff was pretty awesome in the impeachment hearing. He was quoting Alexander Hamilton and it was fucking awesome. Should I play it or not? I don't know. It's only a minute and 12 seconds. We are here today in this hallowed chamber undertaking this solemn action for only the third time in history because Donald J. Trump, the 45th president of the United States, has asked yeah. Yes, that's a good thing to emphasize. Acted precisely as Hamilton and his contemporaries <laughs> feared. President Trump solicited foreign interference in our democratic elections, abusing the power of his office to seek help from abroad to improve his reelection prospects at home. Yeah, and that's another thing that needs to be highlighted over and over again is he did abuse his power he did not want an investigation he wanted just an announcement mm -hmm. against this political rival that is not good for the country y'all and especially holding back the aid hell no congress yeah. said this aid goes to ukraine he had no business fucking with that aid anyway and when he was caught he used the powers of that office to obstruct the investigation into his own misconduct. Which I might add to Trump implement this corruption. To pr totally prove that he hadn't obstructed by saying on the news, they don't even have all the evidence. We have all the evidence. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. While blocking the evidence at every turn for the House investigation and the Senate investigation. So, yeah. Yeah. Scheme, President Trump pressured the president of Ukraine to publicly announce investigations into two discredited allegations that would benefit President Trump's discredited conspiracy theories from Russia. Yep. It's wild, y'all. Big time national security risk. 2020 presidential campaign. When the Ukrainian president did not immediately assent, President Trump withheld two official acts to induce the Ukrainian leader to comply, a head of state meeting in the Oval Office and military funding. Right, so it wasn't just the military aid, it was also a White House meeting, which is considered like normal and kind of a perk for allies. So again, national security and maintaining relationships, foreign relationships with other countries. Espe especially with the position that Zelensky was in. Yes. I mean, it's not like Russia and Ukraine are not exactly friendly and he's coming as, you know, into a new presidency for, you know, cementing the, uh, the, the cooperation, the alliance with the United States is instrumental for him because right. without us, Russia takes over. You know? Yeah. Yeah. See, a long time ago, too, Russia just kind of like dumped their nuclear equipment in Ukraine. And we told the Ukraine, look, uh, y'all can't be using that stuff. And they're like, well, we got to defend our border. So we said, hey, you know what? I got you. I got you. And then Trump goes back on that when he withheld this aid. And that's, I think, a lot of the context here that Americans don't realize. This was something that we put in place as an ally to Ukraine to help them uh, protect their border and to just be good allies and protect them from Russia, who we know is a bad faith actor. I hate to use that term, but they are. Uh, they have time and time again annexed and started conflicts and done all kinds of attacks to us various elections throughout the world they have interfered with not just ours and now they're at it again again yep. so i mean how long america are we going to allow russia to interfere in our elections y'all like I just want this over yep vote vote yes. damn it please oh so 
<laughs> look, we, we, we are on top of the Russian uh, invasions and stuff. Whenever they went into Georgia, uh, a friend of mine actually showed up at another friend's house, fully loaded down with all of his combat gear and everything else, <gasps> saying, "Where <gasps> did you see where Russia's invading Georgia? We've got to go help. Oh my and, God. Uh, oh yeah, no, no. I'm true, absolutely true story. Uh, two wow. friends, uh, oh mutually, no. the, and the guy, and this, you know, <laughs> That's so the guy cute. that showed up and did that was a police officer. Wait, so oh that should, my that should God. tell you some stuff. This yeah, he thought, thought they were, they were invading the state, Georgia. <laughs> the, yeah, the state of Georgia. Oh. And, and look, we were going to help. He, he was. Oh, my he, he was God. loaded down. Bless his heart. No, wow. oh, don't bless his heart. What the fuck? You yep. don't. Do you don't know world, what bu- No, that's not cute. You don't know what <laughs> bless guy, his heart means? Oh, I understand what bless his heart means, yes. But this guy could have gone into Georgia. What, imagine if he hadn't stopped at his friend's house. True. He just gone gung-ho to Georgia. Right. And was, <laughs> just find some random, anyone find some random ever, Russian-looking dude and fucking camp. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah, anyone and everyone that happens to look like Dolph Lundgren, he just starts shooting at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. sad. Uh, speaking of... Uh, just... Uh, Brother. We I have, love this so much. <laughs> this is amazing. So amazing. So this is when you're the master race and you make a video about it. We, the Northern Brothers. The Northern we, Brothers. The normal people. Normal the people. Normal people. Yes, <laughs> because normal people stand in front of castles <laughs> screaming about how normal they are. Yeah, that's... Yeah... We have come to Earth, to Sweden, to the North, wait, wait, to defend. Wait, <laughs> yeah. wait. Yeah. Did we say Earth? Yeah, they we came, came to, to Earth. Earth. They're from. They're from a different planet. We came <laughs> to Earth. Yes. yes. From came where? The North. The North. <laughs> the North. The North. The Northern Star. Northern Star. Northern <laughs> brothers, we came from the Northern Star. <laughs> Wow, I haven't seen this. It's two minutes and nineteen <laughs> seconds. It's it's amazing. Yes. Oh boy. <sighs> what is equally ours? What our ancestors have left for us? <laughs> <laughs> What's equally Someone played too ours? much Skyrim. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> equally ours. What the fuck? What does that mean? Our so brothers confused. left this for us. This castle here. That happens to be the fifth hole at the mini golf. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is amazing, and I love that. But the Vieta leftists, they're destroying it all. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the leftists. The leftists are destroying Ooh. the world. Well, I guess I'm not a leftist anymore, right? I'm just a dirty right wing liberal. So. Yes, the leftist. They want, <laughs> they want to take our Rogan. <laughs> what? They want our Rogan. <laughs> we will not let them have our pure white Rogan. Oh my God. We have to conquer what is going to be lost otherwise. You but it was given. <laughs> I love those middle takes where he's like away from the camera and they recorded in a completely empty room on like a iPhone 4 microphone. It's amazing. <laughs> I totally missed it. But we, the Northern Brothers, will do what we must to save our culture, our nation, and our I, I mother. Just, I don't know how big of a rush there is to immigrate to Sweden. Oh. Still seems pretty white. I I'm just well. Saying. I mean, if you listen to um, people like Sargon, it's turned into a freaking Muslim hellhole. Well, but they still have <laughs> castles. So how can they? How can it? They, they Look, they've got castles to defend. That's a Muslim yeah. castle, right? Yes. Yeah. The yes. <laughs> castle. There's a caliphate on the other side of that wall. Mm. Oh, cool. And what's funny <laughs> is that uh, historically, um, they traded quite an awful lot with uh, the caliphate yes they so did. there was a lot of uh, yeah 
Muslim influence and stuff in his, his, his Scandinavia. Comrade Cud, his his culture is that moat and a wooden bridge and a big wall. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to defend this. Look, my culture is also the scarf, okay? Mm-hmm. The scarf is Oates culture. In a few years, after the Western civilization has had a couple more victories. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> part! This part more left. people will open their eyes and see the disaster that they I have brought think, upon us. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. <laughs> two, two, two white Swedish people walking in the woods. <laughs> I don't think I don't think can you're you, bringing anything. Can you imagine pitching that scene? Okay, look, we're gonna set the camera up in the woods, and then we're just gonna walk straight for it while I do a monologue. Like, hey, that's though, you guys do the shoulder thing. Yeah. Well, Ardos Ardos Bear, the reason you don't encounter these people in person is because they're in the northern lands. <laughs> yes. The northern people and the northern brothers with the or, northern wall. Yep, just Wait, the brothers. But they're coming to Earth, right? Or they came to they Earth. They came to Earth, they yeah. To Earth. Maybe they're on another planet right now, y'all. Maybe they, like, go to the planet and come back. They, they have came to Earth to save us from disaster. Drugs. Then they will join us. No. We will not receive any appreciation. Yeah, you're right. We will no, not hey, be hey, annulled. We're appreciating the fuck out of this video. Yeah. I'm just telling you. We're... We will not be thanked. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you for, for making video. this video. <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh. <laughs> this is so great. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, oh, I mean, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, fuck you. Right. Oh, gross. But at least we will know that our efforts as patriots has not been hey, for our nothing. efforts as patriots. They're <laughs> as patriots. Now, I'm just going to say, they sound pretty, um, they sound like the pretty progressive. If they're ass patriots, I'm patriotic the, towards the ass too. Do they have the valve though? Uh, they probably do, the way they talk. I'm pretty sure that's tight and, and shut up. Probably hasn't even let anything exit in a couple weeks. <laughs> Hey, you should try some prunes in the northern land. We will succeed. We will be victorious. They're, okay. ass, pe- they're ass patriots and they're going to succeed. So I... <laughs> Church of England said no. Yeah, the Church of England is against you. I'm sorry. Uh, are they going to be like battling with England again? Is that what's going on? Yes. They've got a castle. <laughs> Do they have a boat? Because if they have a boat, the Vikings are fucking back, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. All of our beautiful nations will thrive. Well, why did you leave those beautiful nations to colonize the fucking... Like, seriously. These are the same... This is the same ethnic group that couldn't fucking make it there because they couldn't support their people. They didn't have enough land to farm. They needed more resources. <laughs> they have the whole northern lands. What do you not understand? Yeah. All of our alluring countries <laughs> will prosper. All what? of them. What countries are those, I wonder? All of them. All of them? Okay. Yeah. Because we came to Earth to... Yeah. That's legit. All of Europe will be magnificent. Oh, all of Europe. Okay. Got it. Sent and stand as a radiant statue of glory for the rest of the world to mimic as they... But not all of Europe is in the (laughs) northern lands. Shh. Geology's hard, okay? It's in the northern hemisphere. Geology. I mean... Well, I mean, technically... Technically... You got a point. Technically, there. it's the best kind of correct. <laughs> <laughs> Incubate their nations with the same love as a newborn child receives yes. from its mother. <laughs> what the fuck? What? They're gonna incubate. They're gonna <laughs> in- incubate aliens, y'all. They're gonna incubate the country, the whole thing. The whole country. <laughs> yep, and then they're gonna care for it like a mother caring. They're gonna <laughs> suckle it from their teat. So it's are they be great? 
it, are the countries like eggs and they're going to sit on them and keep them warm and incubate yes. them cool cool the northern eggs oh <laughs> now we're walking away it's, it's not about imperialism and seizing the world well, you just oh said the patriots it's all not back. how is it it's, not right it's, look you just don't understand nuance and you have bad faith arguments you're not being charitable it's just and a joke and he's like oh it's the love that we give a newborn child there's not a whole lot of love in like seizing places from people like your wording is suggesting otherwise there's not a whole lot of love and hate no just saying there is no hate it's about enlightening people to find a spirit of fellowship for their countrymen no matter where you're from yeah so so if you're like from the southern hemisphere and you know you've got like some <laughs> like some melanin or something we're being told don't kink shame folks who enjoy being incubated by nationalists <laughs> sorry uh, uh, i will kink shame that yeah sorry. i mean there's just certain things that Cross the line. That's it. Look, Brother. every once in a while, you just want to take Trump's sack and lay it over your head. So, okay, could we? That's uh, that was a great I, stream, y'all. No. <laughs> I'm, so are we gonna I, wait? Are we gonna I, be like with the soy sauce and put it right here? Okay, yeah. yeah. No, oh, <laughs> By the way, we have soy sauce. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so for a little context of the soy sauce yes. there are people out there that have found out that there are taste receptors in the balls so they've been taking soy sauce and basically dipping it dipping them in the sauce tea bagging soy sauce <laughs> yeah for reasons for yeah. science Look, so it's science. perfectly normal to me I mean, soy sauce. Uh -huh. huh. Okay. Keeping it salty. We despise the phrase every man for himself. Our narrow individualism is sacrificed at the altar of the noble and the altruistic spirit of nationalism. Uh, what? We are amazing. What did all of that mean? I I don't know. It, it, it seemed to be just a contradictory word salad. My it's brain like, shut down at Northern. Northern like, brothers. Look, we, we're very strict in our ideology, but we're very open. Right. No, you're not. What? No nope. oh, fucking shit you are, you goddamn Nazi. We love our nation, and we want for you to love yours too. Okay, well. Yeah. So is he just talking about Sweden or all of Europe or all of something? Earth. They came to Earth. I, Earth. I Got it. it. I think it's it's like a certain fascist group that's in Sweden, uh, and and he's making a video because it, yeah, I guess he thought it'd be a good idea. <laughs> well, all of these northern brothers. <laughs> can dip their sack into soy sauce. Oh, yay! <laughs> this, this is, is amazing. Oh! This... oh! <laughs> puppy just wants to swim. That puppy has cancer. Yes, okay, puppy has very cancer. Sick, but that yeah. puppy just wants to swim, and it, it's it going to do it anyway. You mm -hmm. let that puppy swim. Look at that. That is a very so happy, cute. sick puppy. Yeah, we needed puppies after the fucking disgusting nationalist guy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no, you lucky holding me back, bitch. Just this... that's just all I'm gonna say. It looks like he's ready to throw a fish in some jackass politician's face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, so this is the no. book thing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. No, oh no. What? Uh, What's the matter? I, I'm Faithful Southerner. You can check me out at Faithful Southerner. Subscribe <laughs> <laughs> to my channel. I'll, I'll be doing a video soon. So I talked about this last night. It looks like somebody tried to tape it back together. Yep. And then, huh? Well, how are you going to put it back on your shelf if you don't tape it back? Flex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I sawed this book in half. 
Did you want to tell them why? Oh, uh, these are awesome. Yeah, why are they sawing their books in half, Snarky? Uh, to fit in their pockets, right? Make Wouldn't it easier it? to carry. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If only yeah. there was a bag <laughs> that <they had laughs> developed for, for books. Book That's bag. Really cool. or something. Yes. Yep. Those are awesome. Amazing. I don't know what this is. You're not paying attention. Yeah. yeah. What did you do? A, <laughs> how do you not see How can you this? not know what that is? I was talking about other things when we switched to this. Like, we're going really fast. I don't know what's going on anymore. You couldn't see what came out of the other end? <laughs> Giggity. No, because there's an interlocking <laughs> mechanism. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is no interlocking asshole. <laughs> That's what you think. I killed this for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Look what I got. Yeah, I love Mr. Miyagi. Me too. Mm. So, which one is better, Tiny Bleep or Magnificent Roar? I want to see votes in the chat. One for Tiny Bleep, two for Magnificent Roar. Let's see who wins. Honestly, I like Magnificent Roar myself, but that's been kind of a mood. Me too. Oh, we, people are not going to know why we just voted. That's my current. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> we my better current, put numbers uh, in the chat. Oh yeah, <laughs> only the people in the stream have voted yet. Yeah. They should uh -huh. be getting it about yet yeah, now. I forgot about the leg. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's City Life I'm voted, but we don't know if City Life voted <laughs> just because they right because we're us. just putting <laughs> random <laughs> shit in the chat. Hey, yeah. Snarky Ars is winning. Oh, one. Oh, Yay. that's why I I'm gonna. That, uh, I can't help it. That you're wrong. I mean, eat the number twos. <laughs> yep. so what do y'all think? Number one or number two? We voted in we the chat. We already voted. Uh, I can't see the chat. So well, y'all like, uh, Number two one. Uh, I, I, a little bit. They got that. Yeah. Uh, Faithless Southerner and I voted one. Oh. Hashtag and Red voted two. So what's your vote, oh, Snarky? I've already said it was two. She already said. Wait, where have you been, Maddie? Maddie? you need to pay attention. Maddie's I'm still thinking about, about interlocking <laughs> buttholes. I have the chat up. I have production stuff I'm doing. I can't. And you and <laughs> you have excuses, don't you? Oh. I have production and you know, stuff. And you know what you excuses doing? are like? Oh. Interlocking shit. Fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think it's safe to say number two won this one because holy shit, that's magnificent. Oh, I'm so tense. Oh, oh, the blap with a coat or a hat. Yeah, it's. I think it's a coat, but it's so adorable. Love it. Aww. And this I agree is that the vote was rigged because Snarky announced her vote before yeah. it even went out, so it was that biased. Is true. Look, I did what? not. I did not do any sort of priming whatsoever with my audience. Now That's... I know for a fact we've seen this cat before on this show. Have we? Yes. Mm. I, I don't remember this cat. Everybody vote in the chat. Have we in seen fact, this cat a, before? It was a longer clip than this. Mm, I think you're fake news. So, uh, we have seen this. Yes, though. we've seen this too. We have. Yes. Yeah, we've seen that. Oh. So, the fuck this, is this? This is a battery being changed at, I believe, the space station. One of the satellites or stations, uh, and that's a huge battery. That is really wow. scary. That is scary as fuck. Let me tell you, hooking up jumper cables in space <laughs> is a lot harder. Yeah, but yeah, that's. Can you imagine how scary that would be? And it's, That'd it's be just awesome. changing a battery and you would have like super adrenaline flowing through you. That's that's great. That is wild. I love everything about space. Yes. Except for the force. Okay, the space force. force. <laughs> space force. Not the force. Space force. Meow. That's really cute. <laughs> just in case y'all missed it 
It's really pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> you did miss it, didn't I you? Did. You totally missed it. Look yeah. again. It's horrifying. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yes. And this is, I'm not sure. Is he getting a perm? I don't think I think he's just chilling under the light because it's warm. Oh. Poor good not, kitty. I'm I'm really scared for him. I'm afraid he's gonna get burned, but right. I guess he's I guess he's okay. I mean he looks totally zen right now. He seems fine. <laughs> so yeah. Let him get his warm. I'm cool with that. Now this one is a thief. It's just like, oh, I want I this. Oh. oh, what? Hey, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I, need some, I need some lipstick. Hey. I, I think I have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get this cream here. Yeah. It's good for my complexion. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So baby goats. <laughs> baby goats are good for you. You you like baby goats. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the music, but this is amazing. It's swimming. It's swimming. <laughs> puppy likes to swim. He's having a blast. That is cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my food. <laughs> Give, Give me a bite. Me. Hey. <laughs> How could oh. you? Mine. Betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, bunny bun bun. Hoppity hop in the snow. Eek. I imagine Bunny can't stay out there for too long. But pretty cute. I love how quiet everyone is. It's great. So no taking. Responding. These are mine. These are all mine. That's you can't... What are those? I think the crab apples. Oh, oh, yep, they are. That is one fat rat. And this, this is so adorable. So many cats. So many cats. Yes. How to play catch with a golden retriever. Oh, yeah, this one was adorable. <laughs> hey, this isn't a cat, Maddie, is it? No, oh, it's a doggy. I like the doggy videos. Oh, well, I've got plenty of doggies in here, too. Hey, hey, woo! And there's another doggy, and that is quite a view. Yeah, I like that view. Yes. I'm not sure where that is. It's but in the it's... northern lands with the northern <laughs> brothers. <laughs> the northern brothers. <laughs> Oh, Yawn and Bunny, which is great. Such a big stretch. Yes. Oh, we got to have sound for this one. Uh, well, maybe not. So this is chocolate. Ooh, Ooh I like <laughs> I think I think I want some more. I there was a have... whole epiphany in that. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. I applaud this. This is my this is my thing now. Oh. And Tomoko is making an appearance this week. Oh. Uh, That's my baby. Man. She was so pissed. She was. Are you mad, bro? <laughs> Tomoko, are you mad? Maybe. Is you really pissed off? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the tail. It's like it's out of control. 
Why are you mad, bro? Mom, shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Fine, don't look at the camera. Try to sleep, Mom. Come on. You can't hear Greg in the background. (laughs) Yeah. You should smile more. (laughs) (laughs) Boom! Boom! Hit her with the smile more. (laughs) Yeah, you totally mansplained that. So this is this is amazing and well, why do you need a witness? The whole point that we're trying to make is that in every trial that, that there has ever been in the Senate regarding impeachment, witnesses were called. Well, yeah. So what I'm saying about wit- Yeah, so but this time he's like, We don't need witnesses, we know Trump's cool. Well he's we fine. all know that Graham is an asshole. Yeah. Well, if you look at the date here, this was 99, so yeah. Yep. Witnesses is that if you take them off the table in the Senate, the next Judiciary Committee, the next independent counsel ought to do everything because they may lose the chance to present their case. That would be... Yeah, so yeah, that was humiliating. This is amazing. Uh, Casey was just really having the hot takes this week. <laughs> So, our deficiency gang, rise up, but not too fast. Not too fast. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Yeah. I love this. Kicking ass, Lady Liberty. (laughs) And more bunnies. I think we might end on this one because we are getting short on time and everybody's quiet, so that worries me. (laughs) there's been a lot of cats and bunnies there's there's a lot going on in chat (laughs) oh okay well bunnies and cats well here's some pigs man oh yes some pigs love to pigs yes so floofa said because puff (laughs) kicked him off the comforter (laughs) poor poor floof why do they Here's always a- have to monopolize areas that like are big enough for others? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they do. They have to have a lot of space <laughs> to. Uh... Here's a Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up walking for Lent. <laughs> like I'm just gonna drag along. No, no, this is a whole <laughs> lot of nope, 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 and nope, nope. Don't like the harness. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, that one even has a coat. Now this, this is what you call nonviolent uh, protest. <laughs> yes. Oh, French loaf. It's cute. Kittens and their matching bunnies. <laughs> because we don't have enough kittens and bunnies. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's gone. Oh. So here is a cute puppy. Oh, it's just such a soggy puppy. He's soggy. He needed a bath. I think it's what, like a schnauzer, schnauzer poo, poo to whatever. Know. You don't know? No. All right. Well, do you know about your channel? I do. You're on my channel right now, unless this oh. is Thursday. So subscribe to me <laughs> if this is Thursday. <laughs> uh, most of my videos don't contain nearly as many cats. But I'm taking over the channel. When I take over the channel, there's cats. That's right. Hell yeah. Damn right. All right. Next up, we have Faithless Southerner. I'm Faithless Southerner. I have a YouTube channel, and you can find me here most days of the week. Most days of the week. (laughs) Most days of the between premieres and shows. It's it's almost every day. So and sub to me if you want to. That does seem to be the case. Uh, the, and I do want to thank y'all again for being here. It's always fun. Uh, next up, we have hashtag heathen. Hey, I'm hashtag heathen. Cool. All right. <laughs> next up. Now, go ahead. Tell oh. us about your channel. So I was just making Wait, sure Maddie was wasn't going to interrupt me. There it is. The first yep, time. there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany! Um, at any rate... <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, Fridays, I am on Objectively Subjective for On Our Last Nerve. Saturdays, 
again, that's subje objectively subjective with what's happening, which is currently happening. Um, and the series I'm doing with Snarky is going to be premiering on Mondays. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Yes, definitely. Next up, Red Venture. Or not. <laughs> Red oh, said me, they'd be BRB. Oh, uh, oh yeah. And I don't BRB. know if they're B back yet. Well, oh. go and sub to Red because they make videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, they're dropping a video tonight. So you definitely want to check that out. And hopefully, we'll get some links in the chat or description at some point. Anyway, <laughs> no. Okay. No. <laughs> we know better at this point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Not well, going to happen. Thank you all again for watching the show. I hope you had a good time. I hope it wasn't too many kittens. Uh, uh, otherwise, I don't know. I like the kittens, so whatever. There's uh, no such thing. Yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, there's just some uh, Scrooge-like people. They're like, bah, kittens. Bah, kittens. Bah, kittens. <laughs> anyway, I'm Mrs. Snarky. Buy my art. And uh, know yourself. Stay snarky. Bye. A special thank you to all my wonderful patrons. I really appreciate your support. Also, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss another snarky video. Don't forget to know yourself and stay snarky.